Mr. Jean-Francois and Mrs. Madeleine, both born in 1918. They were best friends for their entire childhood and fell in love during college. They were seemingly made for each other. After college, Jean-Francois and Madeleine decided to get married and make their love eternal. As a wedding present, Madeleine and her parents gave them the wonderful manner we see today. And only a couple of months after moving in, Mrs. Madeleine was pregnant from their first child. But unfortunately, World War II was just around the corner and Jean-Francois was at the right age to fight for the country. With all pride, he fought for his country, but he sadly passed away during one of the brutal battles. Mrs. Madeleine became a widow and lived in grief for decades. She also took care of their child on her own. Later on in life, she met her second lover, Maurice, and spent the remainder of her life together with him. They continued living in this wonderful manner she got as a present from her parents and even decided to get a child together at a later age. She ended up being the last survivor and passed away at the beautiful age of 95 years old. Their memories live on forever in their abandoned house and today we will take you on a tour of the inside and document their forgotten lives. Welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today I have another very special story for you all. This used to be the place of Jean-Francois and Madeleine. But later on became the place of Maurice and Madeleine. And this was not due to divorce or cheating or anything else. This was due to Mr. Jean-Francois passing away as a resistance France a fighter for the French army in the Second World War. It's a very sad story and it left Mrs. Madeleine, Madeleine in a great grief after this. Today I will tell you the story of her life. The grief that she felt after Mr. Jean-Francois passed away and the memories that are left of him. But also the life with Maurice that she lived afterwards. She lived till the age of 95 years old in this grand mansion. And I will today show you the story of our life. So let's go on an epic exploration. Let's enter into the first room of this place. And this is also the room that I did the intro inside. I was just sitting on that couch over there. And it used to be a lovely dining area slash sitting area. I think the people of this place probably spent the most time inside of this room. You can see from the wall that it has been abandoned for a long time. This place has been abandoned for 11 years. And the paint is slowly shipping off the walls and the ceiling and falling onto the table. And the first thing I noticed when I got into this place is this creepy clown doll that's laying here. Oh my God, it starts playing. Isn't that just crazy? Or you can wind it up at the back here. Let me just give it a quick one. <laughs> wow. The things that you can encounter in abandoned places. It's just wonderful. Let them play in the background of our video. <laughs> and then we're going to focus on this wall. Because this is a very important wall in this household. This is a wall where Madeleine used to display her grief. You can see the pictures of Jean-Francois are still hanging on the wall. After the 70 years that the war is behind us, she still displays the picture 
of her husband, of her former husband. And I believe this is her together with her husband displayed over here. Wonderful. She also threw in some other memories, as you can see. This is the depiction of her and Maurice together. And this is just a picture of her cat. But like you can see, Jean-Francois was never out of her life. Always in the back of her head. And she was very grateful what she did, what he did for her country, of course. Lovely artifacts hanging on the wall. This really makes this place French. You can see the copper pots hanging here. And they're now overtaken by a big spider web. Wow, lovely. Tapestry here on a wall, some deers in the forest. And this looks like a little sitting area where you could just relax at night. Maybe listen to these cassettes, all these hundreds of cassettes that are left here on display. This was definitely a sitting area for Maurice or Madeleine. They even have some goggles lying here so they could peek out of the window and spy on the neighbors. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe to watch some birds or something else. Oh, I love this lighter that's lying here. Look at this one. It's not a Zippo, but it's a very fancy one. Wow, what a sitting area. They even have this vase, this jug here to the right of it. Then a few more things on the plate. Here to the left, of course, a Bible. These people were definitely religious. This was very common and normal for the French people, especially in those times. I believe around 90 to 95 people were, were religious around that time. I've read somewhere. But now that number, of course, has dropped significantly. More pots and pans hanging here to this side. And again, more pictures on display. Oh, here again, we have our lovely cat sitting on that couch with all the colors. And this over here is Mr. Maurice. And here he comes again. He's just trimming a tree outside of the household. Wow. You can get a glimpse of how the house used to look like back in the day. And Mr. Maurice just casually chilling down there. I just noticed over here on the radio, we have this stack of booklets and it's all about wartime. You can see over here, Stalin and, and Hitler are depicted on this one. And we have another one about the wartime right underneath. Isn't that just crazy? War just lived in this place. It never went away, never. Huh. This is a lovely collection of artifacts. We have these small, these miniature porcelain animals on display here that she probably collected. Even this clock face, this lovely clock, miniature, and even Monica Piss, the, the, the boy that bees, you call it in English, but Monica Piss is displayed in Brussels as, as a statue of a young boy that's just pissing and it's, it's our national icon. Yeah, it's something to be proud of my country. <laughs> oh, lovely. A bottle of liquor still left here. And this seems, oh, there's something inside of this bottle. Have a look at this. There is a man, a statue of a man with a dog inside of this bottle. This is probably handmade liquor that's still in there. Wow, so many lovely artifacts to look at. Pots and pans displayed all over the walls. Fascinating. And look at this display cabinet with the mirror in there, the crystal your glasses to the side that she only pulled out when important people and guests came to the house. And something interesting I noticed is these castanetas. This is uh, typically Spanish. 
and you use it yeah you tap it I'm, i don't actually know how to do it but you tap it right into each other like this and then the, the people dance <laughs> that's a really stupid explanation of how it works but <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm not good at this wow look at this lovely crystalline glasses that we have in this cabinet aren't they just fascinating more dolls on this side definitely some spanish dolls maybe madeleine was a big fan of the culture the artifacts that you could buy over there i love them magnifying glass to look at the marching of these soldiers again a depiction back to wartime lovely what more can we see in this place more dolls on display over here on the cabinet lots of books as well Tutankhamon lots of history books definitely very literature people they loved to read their books and this is of the Austrian or Swiss Alps we have a little pillow and then a piano underneath there's already the second instrument that we saw in this place first we had this that i showed in the intro of course this yeah i'm not gonna call it a guitar because it's definitely not a guitar but i don't know the exact name of this instrument if somebody knows the exact name of this one please let me know in the comment section below and then we have this answering machine i think it's an automatic answering machine for the telephone something that we definitely don't use anymore nowadays and then the telephone right next to it oh i found 500 euros <laughs> no, i'm just kidding it's just a stack of fake euros as you can see it's some sort of a keychain i love it some more pots and pans down there I noticed whenever I pick up this clown, it starts playing his music. It's very, very creepy. <laughs> Please stop. Please do. <laughs> Let's go further throughout this place. We have another pan hanging on the wall, but this one is made into a clock face and it just looks wonderful wow some more artifacts and a beautiful mirror and here we can see the date that the, the clock has last stopped ticking judy the 25th 25th it's friday i believe oh, and then we have another built-in cabinet with lots of display items like these dry plants dry flowers that you put into there into the jars just lovely all these artifacts and over here in this artifact we have in this statue we have mrs Madeleine and maurice together soup kettle This is a German beer mug. Look at this. A painting of a household. Definitely not this house because it's somewhere very, this one is somewhere very rural. And this house that we are in right now definitely isn't. The Mona Lisa here to the left. And Mr. Jean-Francois sitting at the dining table waiting for his food. Wow, so many artifacts to look at. We have another beautiful truck to this side. You also look if you can find something interesting in here. Wow, handwritten notebook. Here's a little note, a souvenir it says. 
from 1988 from Lourdes, it says on the back. And then this was somebody's notebook who lived in this place, who probably wrote novels inside of this. Totally amazing. One overlook of this room before we go to the next one. And then from this lovely sitting area, we walk straight into the entrance hall where the people would be let into the mansion. As you can see, nature is totally taking over this part of the house. The plants and leaves are growing inside. Oh, these were dorns, as you can see. Dorns that are growing inside of the household. And here you can look into the front yard. Wow, even crotches are left here. So somebody, maybe Madeleine, will live longest in this place. Need to use them at some point in their life. A wonderful hall tree over here as well. When people came into the house, they could hang up their coat. And yeah, the people that lived here, of course, as well. Wow, a drinking horn. Some other lovely things on display. And on this side, we got some depictions of French cities all around the country. Wow. <laughs> Polar bear, teddy bear on the ground. Just lovely. But what's crazy about this entrance hall is that the bathroom is literally over here. And when this house got built, I think I believe why this is, when this house got built, it was definitely built without a bathroom. And this had to be added on later, as you can see. This has definitely been added on later, because there is a door in the back there, and plates have been placed against these walls. And then the bathtub is just placed in here. Wow. All her shampoos and everything still left here a little sink they added on and some perfumes and other things are also here isn't that just fascinating our houses back in the day didn't have any bathroom they didn't yet yeah, they didn't know what it was or they, they didn't have money to put it inside the place and now it's time everybody to show you the true dining area. The first thing I notice here on the doorway is this calendar from 2010. And this is the date that Mrs. Madeleine passed away at the age of 95 years old. Wow. Let's close this one up. And let's go through this room. All the paint on the walls is just slowly falling apart. Isn't that just crazy? We got a hunting squad over here. These Frenchmen in the field with all the dogs just hunting away. Lovely to see. And a water painting, A1 it says on there, from 1994. And then we have this cabinet and on top of there, believe it or not, are floppy disks. <laughs> a 
I cannot believe the time when I used to use these. This is only 2 megabytes. The SD card for reference in my camera is 512 gigabytes. And this big machine, this big floppy disks, is only 2 megabytes. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Wow. A lamp on display here to the left. I love to put things back how they used to be. And I even got a little desk over here to the side. Oh, and I saw already a first picture over here as well. And I think this used to be a picture of this side. There used to be this Victorian bench underneath, but it has changed over the years, as you can see. Isn't it nice to just go to the, through these places and see how the former times were, how people used to live back in the long forgotten times. We've got this grand bellow over here as well on the desk and some other artifacts like this strangely shaped <laughs> magnifying glass. And then we got this cassette player and even this old school Detronic computer. This was not a calculator. This was some sort of a computer from back in the day. And even some more pictures over here as well. From a school play and from children playing outside. I just love it. A horse collar as well here on the wall. I don't know what the occupation of these people were after Jean-Francois passed away and Maurice moved into this place. But it definitely has to do something with agriculture, as you can see from all the artifacts that we see in this room. It's another desk. And we have some sort of a typewriter, but I'm not sure if it is a typewriter. Oh. And these are pictures of a war memorial. We can see a Canadian and United States flag in the background. The grief of the war times. Here we can see Madeleine, Mrs. Madeleine standing on, on a war cemetery, as you can see. Definitely a lot of grief in these pictures. Lovely desk. Then to this side, all the display items, the feeding rack of the animals they just placed in their dining area. I've never seen something like this before. This is where all the straw would be behind and animals could just feed on it. It's lovely. I actually really like it. It adds some true value to this room. Wow. All the teddy bears of the children are still here. I don't know exactly how many children they had, but they definitely, Jean-Francois and Madeleine together had one child before he went to the army and died and passed away. But later on with Maurice, I don't know how many children that they had together. A lovely dining table down below here, which still a half drunken bottle of Cantevalle on there, Cantevalle. Don't know this brand. Very lovely. And even some flowers from back in the day, still on the table. Got some more artifacts on this wall. Does this look like a sewing machine or? Don't know how I can, yeah, I could remove it. Oh, there's a fairly modern one I would say for an abandoned house. Normally I always see these old school vintage sewing machine, Electrolux sewing machine. Normally I find Singer sewing machines and there's even still a piece of cloth left underneath it. Wow. It's a highly advanced one I believe. Lovely. 
beautiful cabinet right in front of me. Look at the craftsmanship that they put into the crown of this piece. Wow. And to my, to my luck, this has not been taken over by woodworms. Oh. Ameltis, it says on the, on the front of the glass. Ameltis, I don't know what that stands for. Wow. All the glasses in there. Let's close this beauty up. Nothing of interest. The sound that it makes, crazy. Shoes to work the fields. And then, to my surprise, we walk into a bedroom. Wow. <laughs> Let me turn up the light in this room because it's quite dark, to my opinion. But I think Marlene got very old at the end of her life. And she had to move her bed downstairs because she was not able to go to the upper floors anymore. To go to her bedroom. She lived till the age of 95 years old, which is a wonderful age. I would love to live to, to an age like that. But in good health, of course. This was our wardrobe. Oh, a big stack of pictures. It's the first thing I see. Oh, and there are even more on the bed over here. This is going to be interesting. So everybody, I made a selection of the best pictures that I found over there and I want to show them to you and show you the old times through these pictures. The first one I found was of this young boy, maybe Jean-Francois himself. And we see him coming back over there in this one as well. I love this picture. And then we have these, this picture of these two young boys sitting there over on a bench. Two ladies together. Definitely one of them. This is Mrs. Madeleine. I love these vintage pictures. They are literally the best. A young lady in a field somewhere. And then we have the first modern picture. And this is of a classroom. As you can see, maybe where the children she had with Maurice went to. Here are two children that she took a close up of. Maybe these are her girls. I'm just making speculations over here. But I definitely know that this is Mrs. Madeleine. We saw her coming back on multiple pictures. Here they are performing a play, as you can see. And here we have Mrs. Madeleine again giving a speech. Isn't that just lovely to see? Wow. And two more vintage pictures over here of a young girl, a bicycle in the back, and she's just playing in the grass. And two boys on the field working all day long. Wow. What a nice collection, everybody. I cherish these finds in abandoned houses. These get, truly give depth to these documentaries and show me what's left of these places. Let's close this one up nicely and let's go further. Oh, even the clothing of her is still left in this closet. And you can see this is only the women's clothing, only Madeleine, her clothing. So she probably was the last person that lived in this wonderful place. Some scissors up here. <laughs> Lovely to see. Wow. All the carpets on the wall over here. I just love this display of that. This gives warmth and feeling to a room that probably used to be very blank before the carpets were hung on the wall. Again, a wonderful carving here in the crown of the bed. Just like the cabinet we saw in the dining area. Still made bed after all those years. I love it when places like these are preserved. 
except for the chandelier that has completely broken. And of course, when she started to live down here, she also wanted to make herself beautiful in the morning. So she needed a vanity, of course, to yeah, for her makeup, to do her makeup and stuff like that. The first thing I notice is this handwritten note that's over here. Wow. On display. So many things again to look at. We have another picture of Model Lan over here. And this is in the living room that we were first in with the couches. As you can see, the mirror is behind her. There are even more pictures of the house and this little basket. Oh, this is the kitchen that we have not seen yet. I just love it. See all these pictures of how the house used to look like in the former times. That's just lovely. Even all her perfumes and everything is still here. Oh, this was from when she was very young still. This is most likely Jean-Francois and Madeleine before they got married. That's just lovely. Let's see what's to this side of the bed. Oh, lovely, down there, a back, a leather back to this side, a lovely lamp. Oh, we even got some cameras over here, some film cameras. Wow, I love this one. Very traditional camera, made in Germany, it says on there. Got another lovely camera over here as well. And I also enjoy this box with the world map on the front of it and even a telephone to this side when she needed to make a call when she was lying in bed. Cowbell as well inside of this abandoned place. A lovely bedroom, everybody. I enjoyed the pictures and the furniture and everything that was inside of here. Of course, I almost forgot, but we can not forget to mention the Dora Explorer rug underneath. I'm an explorer, Dora is an explorer, and she definitely needs to be in the video. <laughs> let's go to the remainder of the house and let me show you what's left inside of this place. Okay, we're now gonna go over to the kitchen, but first I want to tell you something about this. I didn't know the exact English name, for the curtain that we have hanging over here. But in Dutch we call this a cattail fly curtain. I think that's a very funny English name. So let's go through the cattail fly curtain. Please leave me the exact name in the comment section because I feel quite dumb not knowing the English name. Okay, let's go through here. And now we end up in the kitchen. Whoa, <laughs> the cattail fly curtain has taken over my camera. Okay, and the first thing we see over here are a few artifacts. A dust, a de-duster, you can call this. It's to hit your couch and get the dust out of it. Wow. Over here, they could hang all their keys and artifacts on the wall. Wonderful. But over here in this room, unfortunately, people have come inside and put graffiti everywhere this used to be the kitchen of the household and they just completely destroyed it this used to be such a fascinating kitchen in my opinion wonderful drawings on the walls beautiful artifacts everywhere look at the sombrero that's here on the floor i didn't even notice it until now wow 
A lovely sombrero, very big. But over here, they put graffiti on the table everywhere. All the kitchen equipment hanging from the walls. And then we have the sink. And even some unwashed dishes to that side, still left behind after all those years. A washing machine. I want to have a look inside of the fridge. If there's anything inside of here. Oh, this is the freezer actually. Oh my God, rotten food. Oh, this smell is, oh, this smells horrible. Wow. Coffee grinder up there. And some other artifacts. And a whole building cabinet filled with all the food and plates and pots and everything from the family. Here on the floor, we also have a decapitated teddy bear. Okay, let's make our way through this mess right now. Let's go up the stairway. Wow, I can try to go into the basement actually. How am I gonna do this? Oh, first, we have the toilet over here to the left of us with all these calendars here on the wall. 1993, 1998, 1995. So many calendars. The newest one I see is 2004. 2004. A lovely little toilet. Okay. Ah, oh, I thought this was the basement, but it isn't. This is just the storage area for some other pots and pans. I don't know if this house has a basement, but I will figure that out later. Okay, some more booklets and other stuff to this side. Another bottle of liquor as well over here. But now let's go upstairs and check out that part of the household. You can look right into the backyard from this window. And here we end up on the second floor. The house hasn't been finished in any single way. So many pieces of the house are just in a state of construction like the bathroom downstairs, the plank of wood we see here in front of us, the painting of the house hasn't even finished. It's very strange because our parents were very rich people. We have a Singer sewing machine standing here in the middle of the hallway. A wonderful piece, some American dollars, rum jungle royal blood. It says on here, and God we trust, 845. Okay, I don't know why that's there. I love the sewing machine, by the way. It's a wonderful piece of craftsmanship. And then we will go into the first bedroom upstairs. And I believe that people have not been in here for a long time, because Madeleine, she was not able to get to this top floor. Oh, in the corner of the room, we have a mannequin standing. Lovely dressed up mannequin. Chinese writing, a Japanese. Some toys from the children down there. Another Asian crown calendar. Made in Taiwan, 1992. Look at the decay that took place in this room. It's totally falling apart. There's not much time to spare anymore. This is one of the people that lived here, one of the bedrooms, and I believe a child's bedroom. 
definitely. Let's have a look at the other rooms. This one is fully overthrown. All the books are taken out of the cabinet and thrown right here on the floor. And you can see the ceiling is just caving in. Not much time to spare. I was just wondering, do we have a bathroom up here? And I cannot get over it, but yes, we definitely do. There's a sink over there and some stuff in here, but not that much. Okay. Then we have this room. Let me try to get inside. A Christmas tree. What in the world? Why do we have a Christmas tree in this room? And it's still made. The balls are still hanging inside. The decoration is still in there. Oh, a depiction of French cheese on the wall over here as well. Wow. Definitely another room. Maybe it looks like some homeless people have slept in this place. As you can see, there is a lot of cigarettes on the table. Yeah, definitely somebody at one point has slept in this place. Again, a lot of graffiti on the walls as well. I have to literally squeeze myself between this bench to get outside of here. There's one last room on this floor. That's this bedroom. It's again completely filled with artifacts, but as well junk everywhere. <sighs> Look at this. Or oh, even something that was made by the children. Depiction of flowers. Lovely. Okay, let's go to the last level of this house and that's the attic where all their memories are most likely stored you can see how everything is just falling apart going to this top floor of the house look at this i think a lot of people must have lived in this place because we saw so many bedrooms like here's another one this is already the fifth bedroom that we encounter. No, the fourth, excuse me. But definitely, a lot of people have lived in this place. A very sober bedroom of somebody. This used to be their wardrobe. <laughs> a big difference with the one that we saw downstairs. Some storage area to this side. Yeah. Oh, this floor is just cracking apart. I'm not gonna walk any further because I'm probably gonna crack through the floor into the basement. Yeah, we've got another storage room. Not that interesting to my opinion. And with this last view of the hallway, we're gonna say goodbye to this place. Close the door behind us forever and leave it as it is. Jeroen is already over there waiting for me. I'm just coming down the stairs of this manor. Oh, what a place. I'm gonna give the camera to Jeroen and let him 
make my finishing my ending of this place i want to thank you all for watching this week's episode it was a very heartbreaking story of the people that lived here jean francois that gave his life to the country of france and i want to thank him for everything i want to thank the people that lived here that we could film this place and i want to thank you all for watching this week's video if you liked it please like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new here and then hit that bell notification button and write me a nice comment in the comment section there's also a link in the description for patreon there you can support the channel and help us go around the world to film these amazing places and with that all said i will see you all next week in another epic exploration bye bye i love you all